Hello everybody and welcome to math. All right, we we're working on long division today. This is just a quick video to show you how to do long division and then there will be a second video to show you how to use long division when estimating. All right, let's get started. So here's the question that we will be using today. A group of students wrote speeches for a speak off. There were six classes that entered for a total of 144 students. If each class had an equal number of students, how many wrote speeches? All right, so we're going to get started here. Okay, so to figure out this problem, we have to look at our two numbers. So there were six classes and 144 students. So we're going to start by writing out our problem. And you can't see that, so I'm going to move it down. Okay. Here we go. Just for argument's sake, I'm going to point out the different parts of the question. So this part, this number here, is the divisor. It kind of sounds like a villain in a superhero comic book or something. It's the divisor. Uh, the next one is going to be the dividend. This is the bigger number that you're dividing up into these groups. So we have, this is the dividend. Perfect. And then the next one we're going to do is find out the quotient. The quotient is the n n fancy name for an answer for a division question. Awesome. The only other fancy name there is, is the remainder. And the remainder we will get to know a little better later. So, let's go ahead and solve our problem. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and solve our problem now. So, we've got 144 students divided by 6 classes. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is take a look at our first digit there. Does 6 go into 1? Well, no. Nothing can go into 1 except for 1. So we have, no, it cannot. How many times? No times. Alright, now we're going to look at the next digit combined with the first digit. So now we've got 14. Does 6 go into 14? Why, yes it does. How many times does 6 go into 14? Let's see. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Does 12 go into 14? Yes, it does. If we go higher, 6 times 3 is 18. Does 18 go into 14? No, miss. It's much too big, you might be saying. So we will stick with 6 times 2. So 6 goes into 14 two times. And what is 6 times 2? Well, we already said it's 12. So just for argument's sake, I'm going to erase this line here because it really is not part of the question. I was just showing you where we were looking. There won't be a line here when you do it. There will, however, be a line here because now we have to take away 12 from 14. So what's 4 take away 2? Two? 2. What's 1 take away 1? Nothing. So now what we have to do is say, will 6 go into 2? Well, no, it's much too big to go into 2. So what we're going to do is bring down the 4 over here. So we bring this 4 down and we just draw it right here beside the 2. Now we have 24. Oh, that's amazing. 6 just happens to go into 24. It's a miracle. So how many times does 6 go into 24? Well, it goes in four times. I know that because I've been practicing my multiplication times tables, and I know you have too. All right, so six times four is 24. We have to put that down here too. What's six times four? It's 24. And again, just like we did here, we're gonna subtract it. So what's four take away four? 
Right. What's two take away two? Correct. Now, if there's zeros here, then that means there's no remainder. It's gone in to eat. It's gone into the um, dividend equally. All right. So there's no remainders. We're done this question. If there was a number down here, and it was smaller than this number, so it can't go into it any more times, then whatever number's left over here is your remainder. But this one has a remainder of zero. And when then that's the case, you don't even need to put that in. You just leave it. All right, and that's how we do long division. Uh, I hope this was ex as exciting for you as it was for me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use this to do our math homework for tonight now. Goodbye, children.